you guys so this is sassy saturday 17 and i am finally back on track with my uh editing and well editing my uploading schedule let's get into the video i have my recap and all that for you um and yeah so let's go ahead and get started first off uh my hair is poofy because the humidity is crazy and i went out to eat so like look at this, this is like a poof spot i don't even know why um and I just, I'm going to keep it there. And if you hear any cars drive by, I have my window open because I'm about to do my acrylic nails. So let's go ahead and get into the video. First thing I want to talk about is this Lush Tea Tree Water. I love it. I think I've talked about it before. It's also my skincare videos and all of that. So I just love it. It's a great, um, just to refresh your skin or to use it like a toner, which is what it's uh, made for. I use it all the time. I use it to like wet down my brushes. Um, when I need, not for eyeshadow per se, but for skin brush if I need it for like my foundation brush, which is what I've been doing lately, then this is what I wet my brush down with and I love it. It's amazing. I can't get over this. Um, let's see here. My foundation, I've talked about this a thousand times. It's what I have on today and it's the Revlon Color Stay Whipped um, buff foundation. Again, guys, if there are any foundations out there that you want me to try or any foundations that you like right now, let me know in the comments because I'm looking for some foundations. So this is one of them and I just, I love it. It's amazing. I freaking love it. I love the packaging. It is super bulky, but I just, it's beautiful. It's a glass container and it just looks nice, even though mine's a little dirty, but I'm in buff, by the way, 150 buff. So And I love to apply that with, normally I like to do it with like the fingertip, my fingertips and only my fingertips because otherwise it would get like uh, crease, creases, it would get like marks in it, you know, and then it would only work with your fingertips, which it was kind of like a long process. So I found this, or found this, I've had it in my collection and I was just like, well, I'll try that. Um, and this is my um, Bare Essentials Heavenly Blush brush. It's a little bit smaller and it works really good if you wet down your brush. You can use water or whatever, but I've been using, like I said, the tea tree water, which is just, it's for your face anyway. And I was like, you know what? Let's see. And it, it works a lot better. There are no streaks. There will be streaks now. I need to clean this because it is pretty dirty. Um, but there are no streaks when I first use it. And this brush sheds minimally. There's like a, there'll be like a brush hair right here and one up here and one over here. And that's really it. You know what I mean? So it rarely like, uh, what do I want to call it? Sheds. Because, you know, if sometimes you use, like, a heavy cream product, it, like, has a lot of, t like, wear on your brush, and it'll make it shed a lot. Um, and it hasn't really done that, because this one has always shed, even when I used it for the regular blush. So I am loving this. And this is just, like, a mini form. I think they have it in bigger, like, a bigger version. You know what I mean? I have been loving these two together. This is my bronzer from Tarte and Park Ave Princess. This is the one with a little bit of shimmer. It's an orangey bronzer, uh, but it's what I have on today, and I love applying it um, with this. Like, I normally apply it with, like, another one. I'll show you, I guess. Nope. This one. Oh, crap. I normally apply it with this one, which is, like, a smaller domed brush. It's, it's gotten a little bit bigger, but, you know, it, like, fits right there pretty nice for contouring um, and that's what I actually did today I put it there and then I blended it out with this um, but I liked to apply it with this as well and just like go like do this whole thing and up and around you know what I mean and you're good to go uh, and then down my neck as well so I love using this brush this is the bare minerals flawless face and this is like this smaller size as well they have it in a larger size but these two are amazing right now like, especially since it's winter, you know, you want to look like you have color to your face. A little bit of a tan, you know what I mean? And then I've been loving this e.l.f. brush, blush in bronzed, which is just literally a bronzed shade. I just love it because it's super natural. It's a little, like, orangey, peachy toned. Um, and that's, like, the blush that I'm wearing today. It's on my index finger. And it just has, like, a nice minimal bit of shimmer. I really like it, and I've been applying that with this angled brush from Coastal Scents is just a, I think it's like an angled contour brush, but I'm using it as a blush brush right now, and I really like it. I just like that it's all natural and all of that, and yeah, so that's what I've been applying that with, and that's been my blush, because uh, it's kind of peachy and all of that, so I really like it. 
um, for just a natural look. Although I want one that's more like pinky as well, like a pinky nude. So I need to find that. And then my favorite highlighter, which I don't think I've talked to you guys about, um, which currently is my favorite, and this one is by Bare Minerals. So many Bare Minerals things, I didn't realize. Uh, this one's in Secret Radiance. So, um, it's just a really pretty highlighter. Now this one does have like a little bit of, um, glitter. Oh, I was like, what's that? That's my mole. Um, it has like a little bit of finer glitter in it, and then it doesn't really show up though. But this is just like a beige golden highlight. Let's see here. Can you see? It's like a really pretty gold highlight. And can you see how it, it glistens like that? Like, because there's a bit of glitter in here. You know what I mean? But if it's applied lightly, you know, it'll it'll look good. It's just a great gold highlighter. I love it. Uh, not sure if you can get that still, but I'm pretty sure that you can. But I love it. It's really pretty. And any other radiance, they have like a bunch of different ones. This one's Secret Radiance. They have like Tropical Radiance. I have that one and one other. They're all really nice, so I really recommend these. For what I'm wearing on my lips right now, I have two products that I kind of mix together to get this, like, pinkiness, nudie thing going on. So first I took this MAC Wonder Woman lipstick in Marquise D, which is just a really pretty uh, pinky nude color. Love that. And then I mixed it with a Maybelline Vivid in Brazenberry, which is just a darker purple shade in can see I mixed it because it's on the top but it's just a darker purple to get this like berryish shade really really like it if you want to dupe for this because this was limited edition I will link the video down below for you guys and it'll say Mac dupe and that's what it'll be I don't know what which one it is but I do have a dupe for this and I'll put the blog post down below as well if you are interested in purchasing it because it's five dollars love it Okay, and then currently what I have on my toes right now, because I don't have my nails painted, they're gross, I know, uh, so I'm going to be doing my acrylics here in a second, so that's why I don't have any, after I'm done filming, so I don't have anything on. So, um, on my toes I have this OPI nail lacquer in, what is this, Midnight in Moscow. It's just a really dark black with red undertones in it, and it just looks pretty much black on my toes, but when the light hits it just right, it, they're... Like the red does shine th through so I really do like this one for the fall time and I really like putting the darker colors on my toes per se than my hand my fingers my nails just because my fingernails what the heck am I saying just because I don't know why uh, I like dark darker colors on my toes anyway and I'll put like the, the lighter fall colors on my nails for some reason I don't know why but I just do the one thing I didn't like though was this polish that I got from red carpet I don't know when but I know that they still sell it. Uh, this one is called Best Dressed, and it's a gel polish. I don't know if I just said that. And see how pretty it is on the outside of the bottle. Like, I really like this color because it's like a dark plum color. But, like, when you open this up, this is the color that it shows. Like, it's a really weird, not the bottle. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, this is way lighter. And you need, like, probably five coats to get it to, like, the light shade. Because it, it doesn't even go that dark, you know? So what I did was I painted over the top of it wet and wild through the grapevine. And then it made the shade, literally. But I was very displeased with it. So I don't recommend it if you think it's going to look like this. It's not going to. So that is my crap -o for the for the week. Uh, and then I'm going to do a bit of a haul, because I just picked up, oh, I thought it was my phone, two things at Sally's today, um, and they're still having 20% off. I don't know if they'll have 20% off by the time I get this video up, because I believe it ends today, so I'm really sorry about that, but I got the Beauty Secrets Acetone Nail Polish Remover with Nourishing or with wheat protein and vitamin E. So it's the pink bottle at Sally's if you go there. Uh, they also have a white one. Well, it's the one with the pink stuff in it. And then they have one that just has white, which is pure acetone as well. This one's pure acetone um, also, but it has those nourishing proteins in it. 
you know, like I tried to say the other day, but I, I couldn't like find the words for it. And then since I'm going to be doing my own acrylics, I needed to get tips. So, um, I got Terrific Tips Clear Vision Cutout ones. Um, they are just the clear ones. They are 100 assorted tips. You get 100 assorted tips. And this is number 202415. So I don't know if that matters to you, if you have to look it up. Um, well, I don't know if that's like important or if that's like a store thing. But uh, I think it might be if you are looking for it online. But they're just see-through clear tips. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing my nails here in a minute after this video is done, after I'm done editing. I'm not editing. I'm... What am I doing? I'm filming. Uh, so, if you ever want me to show you how I do my acrylics or how I, like, fill in my acrylics, let me know. Oh. They're square. Oh, great. They have numbers. Okay. Last time I bought them, or bought some tips, and they did not have numbers. I was really upset. So they have numbers on the tips and stuff. And these are just what the tips look like. I got the clear ones this time. Normally I get, like, natural but I didn't. Just packaging better. I bought some by Terrific Tips and they were in like a plastic, like this is like acrylic, uh, but they were like in a, a flimsy plastic and I hated it because every time you opened it like the freaking tips would fly everywhere and I'm like, I don't know where they go because they didn't have numbers. So anyways, uh, bought that and that's it. That's all I bought at Sally's and everywhere. That's all I went to today. That doesn't make any sense. But now it's time for a video recap. I had a vlog called Decorating My Spooktacular Series. Ghost nail art. Oh, it's happy happy Halloween, guys. It's Halloween right now. Um, and right now it's raining. So, our trick-or-treats around here are canceled. Except for, like, the one. I don't, I'm not going, so I don't know why it matters. But anyway, um, then I have my Vianney Lou one swap reveal for October. Um, I had a wallet review uploaded. Garnier Olia first impression. And then I had a haul for from Target and Sally's. Um, and empties for September slash October, my Sassy Saturday 15, and then my how to remove fake nails. So all of that will be in the down bar as well as all the other Sassy Saturdays on that playlist. Um, so definitely check that out. Um, and yeah, like I said, if you want, to, if you ever want to see how I put my acrylics on, just let me know in the comments. Let me know what foundations you are using right now and what you're loving right now in the comments. Thumbs up this video, share it with all of your friends, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!